I was just working, but now I'm going to do a little haul because I just got some stuff in the mail from Gymshark. Basically, I've been going to the gym a little bit more consistently again. I kind of fell off for maybe like three weeks. Honestly, ever since New York, I've just fallen off. So I guess like a whole month pretty much. But I've been going to yoga very frequently. And honestly, I know I've talked to you guys before about the leggings that I liked and I was raving about them and telling you guys that I loved them. And they're the ones by Fashion Fitness. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called or Fashion S Fitness or something like that. It's basically like this fitness YouTuber who created a fitness line and I loved her stuff. I bought like literally four pairs of leggings. I've noticed that they're see-through and I've just been like literally like spreading my eyes in the mirror trying to see if they're see-through and they are. So I've found that recently when I go to the gym, I feel a little less inspired because I always have to kind of cover up. I'm wearing like baggy t-shirts or tying something around me and just like trying to cover up as much as I can because I know that my pants are see-through and it's like embarrassing, you know? So anyways, I ordered a few pairs of leggings off of Gymshark. I also bought those Lululemon leggings recently that I got for when I went to yoga. What I got from Gymshark is first of all, a matching set. So I got this top, which I hope fits me. It's like this brown color. And I got this in a medium, I'm pretty sure, because I didn't want my boobies. Yeah, I think I got everything in a medium or I might have got the pants in a small, I can't remember. But the top is just like a little crop top. Typically what I do is if a top that already has a built-in bra is too revealing for me, like gym, gym wear wise, I'll just wear another sports bra underneath because the sports bra is usually kind of cut off. So it'll kind of give like a layered effect while also covering the cleavage and then these are the matching leggings that i got oh they feel very nice and i got them in a size so i got the leggings in a size small i'm gonna try these on i'm excited to see how they look the color is so pretty they look really small though um these might not <laughs> these are not gonna fit me like i don't know we're gonna have to try them on and see if anything i'll change the size and then i got another pair of those same leggings but in a different color these are more of like a purpley blue-ish color. I wanna quickly try these on. Okay, I was wrong, they fit really well. I feel like I could have gotten a small in the top, that way it would have been a little bit more tight. This is what it looks like. It's just this really pretty like chocolate, almost like reddish color. I feel like it would be better if it was more snug here, but I'll know for next time now. And I think I'll probably just wear like a white sports bra underneath because I feel like that could look cute and I can take out the padding. So this can end up just being like a regular top. The leggings are super cute. They fit so well though. Like they're so snug. And I like that when I like crunch and stuff, they don't roll. Cause that was an issue I was having with the other leggings is like anytime I bent over, they would roll down and I was just like, ugh, so annoyed, but they fit so well. I feel so cute. Let me. You woke up from your nap. Did you have a good seat? Do you guys ever find it so funny? If you work from home, you see your dog's routine, and you know that like they go and they like wake up, they go to the bathroom, they go eat, and then they go back to sleep. Like they fully sleep again for like the rest of the day until you're like playing with them or walking with them or whatever. Anyways, let me show you guys with the bra. On. I'm gonna go put it on real quick. So this is what I mean. I just added a little sports bra, and as you can see, it's just a lot more coverage there's still cleavage but like they're just more secure they're more in place big stretch oh sexual oh get the back legs oh <laughs> anyways i'm gonna get back to work Lunch is ready now. Um, I'll show you guys quickly what's in it. So it's ground beef that I made yesterday. This rice, I used one of these little packages to make the rice. That's all I added. I cut up some cherry tomatoes, some avocado, and some red onion. And then I added some guac and some of this Lebanese style um, garlic sauce to drink. I'm having this little juice, a freshly, city, or freshly pressed juice that I got from Farm Boy. I'm gonna eat now and I will talk to you guys later. It's 7.33 now. I am so tired and my back hurts pretty bad. So I need to do a deep stretch and I also want to make some dinner and I'm really excited about what I'm going to make. So let me wash my hands real quick. So yesterday, or not yesterday, this was a few days ago, I got some freshly shaven um, prosciutto. So what I'm going to do is throw this on a pan and let it get nice and crispy and warm. 
And I'm gonna spread some ricotta on a little sourdough toast. Maybe some spinach. I think in the TikTok they use sun-dried tomato and they use like the oil in the sun-dried tomato. And it's also different bread. I don't have a baguette, I have a loaf, but it's fine. So ricotta, then she puts some prosciutto in the oven, some of the sun-dried tomato oil, sun-dried tomatoes, arugula, some nuts or something, some tomato. This is your highness, as you can see, all the goodness, all of the goodness, yes, yes, yes. Yes. I'm done being weird tonight. Good night. Bye. I'm heading off to yoga class now. I haven't really talked to you guys today, but I wanted to give you guys a look at my outfit because I feel super cozy and cute. I'm wearing these little earmuffs. I have on this big zip up and then underneath I have on the new set that I got from Gymshark, like that brown set and the sports bra I was showing you guys. On top of that, I have on this leather jacket that I've thrifted and then I have on my Nana's boots. client was actually one of my friends from middle school and then I did another client just for a refill and now I'm about to go to the mall or I'm on my way to the mall to meet up with that same friend from middle school because she was gonna go shopping and my client came early so I was able to finish early enough to meet up with her I want to get the effortless pants from Aritzia so we're gonna try and do that I just had a business call. I've gotten ready, fed Miko, dealt with that whole thing. Now I wanna make some breakfast, but before that, I wanna give you guys a little haul. I got a few things in the mail and I also went to the mall yesterday, so let me show you. I ordered this towel, paper towel holder. It'll go right here. Take up a little bit less space on the counter, which we love. And then the other thing I got from Amazon is this hair wax stick. I saw this girl I've seen a bunch of girls use this on Pinterest and TikTok and stuff. It's basically like wax for your hair, but all you have to do, I don't know, how do you push it up? Do you push it up like this? Oh, yep, you do. Okay, go back down. Eek. Anyways, it basically is like a little glue stick. So when you have your hair in a slick back bun, you basically just like directly apply it and it looks like it stays really well. I don't really smell anything, so it doesn't seem like there's a scent, but this is what it looks like. And then at the mall yesterday, I told you guys I wanted to get the um, effortless pants, I think is what it was called, but I ended up not getting those. Basically, all I wanted were black dress pants. I wear black dress pants all the time with hoodies, with blazers, with sweaters. Like They're just like kind of a go-to, and they're a lot more comfortable than jeans, and they look nice. So anyways, I wanted a pair of black dress pants because the ones I have right now, I think they're from Cider, I want to say, but they're really thin. So during the winter, they're just not going to cut it. And I also wanted ones that were just more of like a wide leg. These are the ones that I got. They are the Agency High Rise Straight Leg Pants. They're a size four and they were 168, which is a lot for pants. But lucky for me, I had gift cards. So I ended up only paying like 70 bucks for these. So love that, but they're a lot thicker than the effortless pants and I just like the way they look. I like so anyways, that is what I got. I'm going to make my oatmeal now because that's what I'm craving and let's continue on with our vlog. Cute! 
cute. It's just so much more sleek. It takes up less space on the counter. So, same day, but I want to make a few outfits now. Wednesday, which means it is a day with Sam and today we're gonna be doing first of all our nails but also she's gonna help me decorate my house and just make it all Christmassy I just brought in all of the stuff from the shed because I know if I don't do it right now I'm not gonna want to do it when she comes because it'll be dark I also need to get a better bin for my Christmas tree because it's kind of open in there and I'm horrified that when I take out the Christmas tree there's gonna be spider webs or spiders or a full-on animal living in it, you know? I don't know, it just makes me nervous. But anyways, we just played outside in the snow a little bit. Miko loves the snow. I forgot to put his jacket on, and at first I was like, oh shit, he's gonna get cold, but he didn't even wanna come inside. He was just having a blast running around and sniffing everything. He loves to sniff. So anyways, I'm gonna get back to work now. I just wanted to kinda start off this video panting for my life because I don't do cardio and it's gonna be a good day, I'm excited. But this one's attached to this one. Oh, then no, it's not. <laughs> Goofy. Wait, no, it's not. Oh. Goofy. Last year, Are you the overlay music? Christmas One day, me the tree. Truth and fault, didn't know that time could go so slow. 